demonstration on how to prepare a sales journal. But before we do that, we need to know what a sales journal is first. Uh, in other texts, they give it as a sales day book here. That's the other name that you normally find because the uh, presumption here is that sales uh, are entered in this book almost on a daily basis. So it is used to record only credit sales. So this book is a book of prime entry for only for credit what? Sales, uh, which means the cash sales are not part of this book. They are recorded in the cash book. It shows a list of credit customers because it involves uh, credit sales. Now, if a customer buys, the business issues a document, a business document known as a... Um, an invoice. So these parts are very important when you are studying uh, these books of prime and especially the sales journal. Uh, so the customer is issued with this document by the seller. Uh, the sales journal can have one column or two columns. So in today's uh, lesson, we'll focus more on the one column sales journal. This is our first lesson on the sales journal. So we will focus more on one column then we'll do another video on the two columns for a sales journal right so what uh, differentiates the one column and two columns is the issue of discounts usually when a customer buys the customer can receive a discount from the supplier or the seller so in businesses where discounts are involved trade discounts normally a two column one is used right so in our demonstration we are going to use this uh, illustration that i have here a business of uh, g batch may i take this opportunity to notify that the names that i use here are not relating to any party, uh, particular person so uh, they are meant only for this demonstration so this is the business of G. Batch, a trader which sells goods on credit. So uh, the, the question is directing us that the business deals mostly on credit uh, sales. His transactions for May is 20, May 2019 are given below. So the first transaction is sold goods to B or B. Then we are given the invoice and then the amount. Of the goods so normally if you see the examiner giving you the name and the invoice number it's a credit sale right how do we record this we have a sales uh, journal with one column here so this sales journal is um, the column the one column we are referring to is the column for amount that's the column that we count here so when we say it's a one column, it we refer to the amount column. Okay, right. So how do we record? We are going to have the date 2019 and the month is May. So our first date for May here is 3. This is the transaction. So under details, you just enter the name of the customer because this is what is important for the business. B or B. And the invoice number is given as 101. Remember, it's this business for G Batch that is issuing these invoices. And the amount involved is 1200. So that's your first entry. Right, you go back again, you read. Uh, on the 12th, sold goods to J Gogo, invoiced 102 for 1000. You can see that. Uh, the invoices are almost following in order because of um, they are being issued by one business. So we go to the next uh, transaction. So this is on the 12th. Okay, go, go. One, zero, two. That's the invoice. 
and then we enter the amount. We go back to our transactions on 19 sold goods to N Nero on cash basis for 1800. So you can see that uh, here maybe uh, there is a customer who was afforded an opportunity to buy goods on cash. So this customer um, paid cash, the actual cash for the goods, so was not issued any invoice. This is this transaction is not recorded here because it's a cash transaction. So we leave it out even if uh, the name is indicated. It's not important in the sales journal because it's a cash transaction. So we move on to the next transaction. Sold goods to K. Campbell, invoice number 104 for 1,300. So we need that one. It's on the 26th. Okay. 104. And this gives us 1,300. So, um, according to the transactions that we have here, we have managed to uh, record all the transactions that we had for the month of May. Now, the next step for this one is to try and um, add up your right. You add up your your sales journal here. So we are adding the amount column only. This is the important column for us. So this gives us 3500. Right. Here we are not putting anything because we don't add invoices. Under details here, how what do you write? You write that this amount was transferred to the sales account. Right. So as additional information here, I'm just indicating for you that this sales account will be in the nominal ledger. Others uh, may use uh, general ledger. Those are names that are normally used for one uh, type of ledger. We shall talk about ledgers uh, in future, but this is happening at the end of May. So each time you should know the end of each month right so we are transferring the total to to the sales account so this is the total that we are transferring to the sales account at the end of the month this is very important so uh, I want to show you how to transfer this to the next month so i'll bring down this uh, information so that uh, my uh, demonstration will be at the same page now we have our sales account here at the end of may so we know that in the sales account you record on the credit side 2019 may so it will be may 31 the last date. What do you write here? You will just write that this is the total sales for May. Right. And then you put the amount which is 3500. So we have transferred that amount from here to there right so now it is in the sales account so basically this is what the examiner or uh, the question requires you to do just after your journal here at the end of the month you post to your sales account which is in the nominal ledger like we have said so it is my hope that um, this demonstration will assist you to do a sales journal in future.
where a business sells without offering any trade discount.